Welcome back. The biggest sporting event of the year, just around the corner, Super Bowl Sunday, and we know what comes with it, people placing bets. Joining us this morning from Gutterson Health System, Casey Bablich, thanks for getting up with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Obviously, it's going to be a tough time for people, you know, recovering from gambling addictions or just maybe a, a bad time in general for people to place money on bets. Of course, there are differences between legal and illegal gambling. Can you speak first to those differences? Well, uh, most gambling is illegal, but getting together with friends is, uh, and placing some side bets is uh, probably a little uh, more healthy uh, than putting big bets uh, with a bookie or in a casino. Sure. So what can be so problematic, though, with this? Well, there's a lot of problems that can arise. Um, People start to chase uh, their losses if they've had losses with gambling, uh, and that can lead to uh, spending money that they don't have. It can uh, it takes up a lot of time, uh, and that take and that time takes away from relationships. It can cause people to be dishonest about how much they're spending, what they're doing, uh, and that can really take a, a toll on the person's family. It can take a toll on a person's job. Uh, as well as the person's finances. Yeah, definitely a lot of repercussions. What are some ways, some signs maybe that we can tell that somebody seems to have a problem? Well, if somebody seems to uh, be hiding their gambling or they're missing for long periods of time, uh, their gambling as a way to sort of escape maybe emotional uh, issues, uh, those are some certain signs uh, also, if uh, it starts to affect their employment uh, or their relationships. Okay, so what are some ways we can help people or at least resources that are available? Uh, good for One of the first steps uh, for somebody with a gambling problem is being able to admit that they have a problem. Uh, so working with that person on get, you know, letting them know how you feel uh, about their gambling. Uh, and a good first step would be to talk to a physician, uh, it could be a primary care doctor, and be honest about what's going on and, and look for the resources that are available. You can also do this with a mental health uh, therapist, contacting the behavioral health units uh, at the local facilities. Uh, also online, you can look up uh, gambling resources that are available, such as Gam uh, Gamblers Anonymous. All right, yeah, the first step, like you said, Casey, always just admitting you have a problem. That's all the time we have this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you again. It's